A couple of years ago, we were gifted a cordless stick vacuum that kind of changed how I felt about vacuuming. Instead of lugging around a huge corded vacuum that needed to change where it was plugged into every time we switched rooms, now it was quick, convenient, and I'm gonna be honest with you, somewhat enjoyable to actually clean the house. Now, our old Dyson V6 is long in the tooth at this point. And so when Roborock reached out to partner up for a video and send their new H6 our way, I was definitely interested. Now, I went through a disclaimer regarding sponsored videos in the last Roborock S5 Max video that I made, which I'll leave a link to up here and down there. But basically, because this is a paid sponsored video, this will not be a standard review. It will be a showcase video. So keep that in mind. But with that said, let's get into it. So firstly, one of the big selling points of the H6 is its ultra long lasting battery, which has a runtime of close to 90 minutes. Now this is in its eco low powered mode, but the fact that we have the ability to run a cordless vacuum for up to 90 minutes in any mode is really impressive. On top of that, the battery is more energy dense than your standard vacuum battery, meaning it's able to maintain 85% of its power after 400 charging cycles. In terms of suction, the H6 packs a punch with 150 air watts of suction power, and it also has an extensive five-stage filtration system on board, which filters up to 99.97% of 0.3 micron particles. Now, Roborock are probably more well-known for their robot vacuums, but one technology that's been brought over in particular is what's called their boost mode. This is where the vacuum will automatically increase its suction whenever carpet is detected for a more thorough clean. In terms of design, it's pretty sleek, nothing outrageously unique though, but what I really like is this bright OLED display that shows critical information, including what I really appreciate, which is how much vacuuming time is left using the mode that you're currently set to. As well as that, normally with stick vacuums, you have a trigger switch, which you have to hold continuously to keep the vacuum on. Now, the H6 does have this, but it also has a really neat locking button that you can just press once to keep the vacuum suctioning, and it will do so until you press that button again. Right. Let's talk accessories. The vacuum comes with your standard floor brush, but it also comes with a carpet brush that is specifically engineered for deeper carpet cleaning in that it's slightly wider than your average brush. And it also has a 50 watt high torque and durable motor that provides dedicated power to spin the roller. You also get a dusting brush, a crevice tool and a motorized mini brush. As well as that, the H6 also ships with a flex tube, which when combined with a crevice tool or the dusting brush, makes cleaning those awkward, hard to reach spots much, much easier. All of these accessories are easily mounted into this self-standing and wall mounting charging dock, which keeps things nice and tidy. Now I know this video is sponsored, but Roborock are so confident in their product that they actually also sent me the Dyson V11, which is pretty much the main competitor to the H6. And they told me to have at it and compare the two in this video. Now I'm not gonna go into heaps of detail here, but here's a quick summary on how these two vacuums compare. In terms of battery life, put simply, the H6 lasts longer. Here are some numbers for those wanting the specifics, but at each various mode, the H6 will last either the same amount of time or longer than what the V11 does. And it also charges quicker than the V11. In terms of suction power, the V11 is top in class here, pulling 185 watts of suction power compared to the 150 watts of the H6. When it comes to noise, the Dyson produces between 70 to 78 decibels of noise, depending on the speed setting in use, whereas the Roborock emits 72 decibels in its max mode. So they're both pretty much on par in this category. The Roborock weighs about half as much as the Dyson, coming in at a mere 1.4 kilos, which is great for long cleans, but the Dyson has a larger dustbin that is nearly double the size of the Roborocks. Both vacuums have displays. The Roborocks is OLED, whereas the Dyson's is LCD. And aside from that, the Roborock has that little handy lock button for continuous cleaning, whereas the Dyson does not. So the H6 holds up pretty impressively to the Dyson V11. Whilst there are a couple of areas that the Dyson has it beat, like dustbin size and suction power, one big difference to keep in mind between the two is cost. Right now, the baseline Dyson V11 costs $12.49 Australian dollars, whereas the Roborock costs $6.99. And with the 15% discount code they're offering anyone who uses my link down in the description below, it costs $5.95, which is well below half the price of the baseline Dyson V11. To me, that extra suction power and bigger dustbin are not worth the additional $650. 
So there it is, that is the Roborock H6 showcased. If you wanna learn more about this product, or as I mentioned earlier, score a 15% off discount code for a limited amount of time, then you can do so using the first link down in the description below. But that's it, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you Roborock for supporting the channel and I will catch you later.